This is Bear, guys. He's my kitty cat. As you can see, he doesn't have any eyes. And this is what he does every time I try to leave. <laughs> it's fishing day, buddy. Say bye. Welcome back to another adventure with K and K Fishing Adventures. Gonna be on my own again today. Kelsey's got to work tonight again, so it's just gonna be me. I think I'm gonna try the same thing, going down to Pipe Stem like I did last week. Uh, take some more daredevils and some more spinners and things like that out there. Try it again. Just try our assortment of baits again, our lures instead of worms. I think I might get worms and minnows this time, just to see if there's any more active predatory fish down there. But it's kind of cloudy out today. Still about 77, 78 degrees, so it's pretty decent. So we're going to head on down there and set up at the spillway and see if we can catch some more northerns for you. Maybe get a bigger one this time. Maybe see if there's any other fish other than northerns and bullheads in that spillway. And I'll catch you guys down at the river. Well guys, I think I found a spot. Not sure how good we're gonna do. I may end up not catching anything at all this week. So I'm still out at pipe stem. I'm just on the opposite side. We were over there earlier. Went and checked the spillway and there's even more people down there now, so there's no way I can get it down there and get set up. So instead I came over to the opposite side. Got a shale beach here. Soft ground. And I think we'll try our luck here. See if we do any better. Might catch something, might not. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys. We got one. First cast in the new spot, guys. Got us another little northern. Let's see if we can get him up on the shore here. There we go. Well, guys, that didn't take long at all. Literally the first cast at the new spot when we got ourselves one. So I think we'll be all right here. Let's 
go ahead and get her. <clears throat> All right, we got him there. Let's get the hooks out of him. That ain't a bad fish, guys. He got himself in the tongue, which is why he's bleeding. But other than that, he's all right. Not a bad little northern. <laughs> a good little guy there. All right, we got some nice clear water here, guys, so we'll get to see a nice release of him. Watching him swim away there. All right, guys. Well, maybe it was a good idea to come to this spot. Well, if nothing else, guys, we've got one fish for the day. This is the Pipe Stem Reservoir. It's just north of Jamestown. Jamestown also has the Jamestown Reservoir. We also have Spiritwood Lake. There's three major lakes in this small little area. And They've all got a lot of the same fish, but Jamestown's really well known for walleye. Spiritwood Lake's really well known for walleye, northern pike, muskie, bass. Um, the river is known really well, as you've seen, for the carp. Pipe stem has all kinds of stuff. Northerns, walleyes, bass. I'm just hoping to catch whatever I catch today, guys. So we've got one fish. Let's hope we can get a few more. We got the bobber out with the minnow on it. We'll give that some time. If we don't have any luck there, we'll switch it over to a worm what they're liking better today. North Dakota allows two poles per angler, so I'm limited to my one bobber and my casting rod. So we'll see how the day goes. Don't get hung up in my bobber. Don't eat my bobber. Don't eat my bobber. Go on now. Go on. Hey, hey. Thanks, buddy. my bobber guys. Oh, there goes my bobber guys. Oh did he let go? He let go. Well <laughs> it's a good sign. Let's get it back out there. Oh, he let go, guys. Ah! 
All right, guys, there we go. We're on another one. Let's get our net ready. Crap. You guys, he spit it right here. He was half in my net. Damn, guys. <laughs> well, let's try that again. God. You gonna take it or are you just gonna keep hitting at it? That guy swiped at it like four times, guys. Four times. All right, guys, there we go. Got us another one. I watched this guy take it. You know, he'll just settle down. All right, guys, got us another one. Pooping all over me, but that's all right. He's just a little guy. I think this is the same one that's been swiping at it all those times. Finally, got him in. Get him back in the water. So he can run on and continue to be a fish. There he goes. Well guys, I'm using my jitterbug and this pelican came straight for me and I'm pretty sure he thinks my jitterbug is something he can eat. So I'm hoping we don't have any problems with that. As much as I want to try and catch a fish with my top water, 
if he's gonna hang out here, I may have to switch it up. I think we're gonna switch it up, guys. GoPro stop recording. Oh, he let go, guys. Oh, no, he didn't. He's still there. All right, we're good. Gotta loosen this drag so he can fight us if he wants to. Trying to get back over to where our net is. He came off. All right. Quit slapping at me. All right, guys, it's been a while. Switched back to the spoon again. Got ourselves a nice little northern again. All right. Leave my bobber alone though, okay? All right, so I got a slightly different spoon that I'm gonna use.
guys. There we go. That one's a bit bigger. Alright guys, that's the biggest ugh, biggest one of the day so far. That's a nice one, guys. He's heavy. Let's get this hook out of him. Gonna try to get us a weight on this one. He just broke my string. There we go. There we go. Three pounds, guys. Got us. Three pound northern. Check that guy out. Three pounds, guys. That was a nice one, guys. And what I've been using, you guys, is this red daredevil spoon. This is my dad's. He's had this forever. It's older than I am. But it seems to be getting the job done. Gonna have to be done soon. I've got homework again. Oh, missed him, guys. I can't tell if we got him. Oh, yeah, I think we got him. There we go. Oh. He hit that thing like four times, guys. Let's try that again. See if we can entice him to come back. He felt pretty good. Eventually, guys, eventually we'll hook up with one of the big, big ones.
<laughs> there we go. We enticed him to come back, guys. That's another decent one. All right, guys, there we go. In the net. Feels like another three pounder or so. Now, if you just cooperate. I said cooperate. There we go. All right, guys, took us a little longer to get him out of the net because he got hung up in it. But there we go. Got us another nice little pike. Go ahead and get him back in. And away he goes. Oh, look, guys, this guy wants him. <laughs> you gonna eat my fish? He's a little big for you. You guys are right where I want to fish. Go on. Go on. Guys. Really? You're gonna chase away all my fish. Pike didn't last long. <laughs> he's, he's pelican food. <laughs> I don't know if any of that got unreported. You guys, these four pelicans just ambushed that pike I released, and I watched him go down one of their throats. Look at him staring at me like, where's the rest of my food? You gonna eat every fish I release? <laughs> All right, guys, we got another one. Feels smaller. These guys are watching me thinking they're gonna get another meal.
All right, guys, got us another one. I'm afraid to let him go, guys. All right, buddy. I'm gonna tell you that you should probably swim that way. Don't hang out there. They're gonna eat you. I see you guys eyeing him. I sent him that way. <laughs> oh, you found him? Did you find him? You gonna eat him? You fighting over him, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Get lost. I'm not releasing them so you guys can eat them. Now I got five of them, guys. Oh, did he let go? Well, we had one, but he let go. He didn't get the hooks. As much as I want to catch another one of you guys, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that these pelicans are going to try to eat him again. They're stalking me. Oh, we got him that time. Kind of being an ornery cuss. If you stop, if you stop. Oh yeah, he's hooked good. He wasn't coming off. All right, guys, last fish of the day. Could have been bigger, could have been smaller. He's got a mark on him there. He was bit by something, probably a bigger pike at some point. Check him out, guys. You think the, this one's gonna get eaten too? I don't know, guys. Let's wait, they're swimming that way. So let's go ahead and set him out this way. And away he goes. All right. Do we call it good there, guys? Or do I try to catch one more? Because I know I said one more, but that happened in three casts, so.
Got us. One last fish for the day. It's another small northern here. Not a bad little guy. Gonna let him go. as you can tell back in the car what a good day I wasn't expecting anything at all really from that spot I've never fished there before had no idea the road down to it is pretty much not even a road anymore I don't even know if I was supposed to be down there with my car but I made it I made it back up you can see behind me there even says dead end all the way back there if you look <laughs> but uh, yeah we caught quite a few northerns today, some smaller ones, some bigger ones. I had that three pound one, that was pretty nice. But that pelicans, man, I had to yell at them. They kept trying to come and get my fish while I was bringing them in. And I know for sure I watched them eat at least one. I don't know if that was on the video footage or not. If it is, I'll include it. If not, it was strange. I let that fish go, they all swarmed. And next thing I know, they're attacking each other and they gobbled up the fish I let go. But we had a good day. Nothing but northerns today. So it was a lot of fun. No bullheads to contend with. I don't know what took my bobber because it let it go, but it pulled it down pretty good. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Kelsey should be with in the next one. She's got to work again today because of the vacation time she had. It changed her days off for the week. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one. If you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll comment back. Yeah.